Welcome to episode 213 of Clarity Compressed. My name is Paul J. Daly. I'll be your host. It is really late. I'm in Baltimore, Washington International Airport. My flight got delayed. I just got off about a hundred hour week at NADA conference in Las Vegas. I want to be home, but this week we're going to talk about what to do when you just want to be home. <laughs> <laughs> Let the good times roll. This is Clarity Compressed. It's been an amazingly long week, but an amazingly productive week as uh, me and our awfully large crew headed out to the National Auto Dealers Association show in Las Vegas. We spent uh, the last four days running very, very hard from sunup to sundown, sundown in a different time zone. We had uh, Darren Doan's content crew with us, so, um, you know, we knew how to work and we got a big wrench got thrown in the works because my business partner Kyle Monsier, uh, his wife had a baby, he just had his third child. So he was planning on coming to the NADA show and instead baby Monsier decided to come a little early. So he, uh, he couldn't go to the show, but uh, luckily he did make the decision to stay home and um, you know, his little baby's happy and healthy little Emma Lynn. But the thing is that we were planning on having two of us there to run around and interview people and work the floor and work the opportunities. And then all of a sudden it was just me. Fortunately, he was able to sit at home, not sit at home, but sit in the control seat at home and run live streams and help with social content. However, that did not help our interview schedule. That did not help the obligation schedule uh, that we had. So all of a sudden the two things got stacked together in one thing and we were running around. Um, sometimes I felt like I was getting dragged around like a rag doll from this one to that one to this one to that one. And you know me, usually at those events, I, uh, I flutter a little bit like a butterfly. I just go around from booth to booth. I just take my time. I randomly run into people. I get in conversations. I really enjoy that. But now we had obligations. And um, I had a moment. I had a moment one of the days. I think it was Saturday maybe when it was the morning and I looked at the schedule and every interview was back to back to back to back. And then jammed in there was me having to moderate a panel of six other professionals on diversity and inclusion at the cars.com booth. And so that was, you know, obviously a lot of pressure, right? A lot of cameras, a lot of people, an important topic. And then there were more interviews. And then there was a keynote to give on vendor dealer relationships and the speed of innovation that had initially been, you know, Kyle and I, we're pretty good if we just have a topic and a couple talking points, we're pretty good at just, you know, jamming, right? Like we can just jam on things, we flip it back and forth, it's what we do every single day. So, you know, we were kind of uh, loose on that, but now without him there, I'm like, oh crap, I have to talk for an hour on this topic and I had some notes, but you know, it takes a while to really distill your thinking, your notes into something meaningful. And then after that was more interviews. And so all that to say, I was there, I was in the morning, I was looking at the schedule and I was like, I, I, I caught myself having a bad attitude internally, right? I didn't, I don't think I let it get external, but I had internally and I was just, um, I don't know, I was just frustrated with it. I wasn't frustrated at anyone. And like a split second after I had that thought, it hit me like, no, this is when you just decide that you're gonna get it done. You're gonna decide that this is what winners do. Winners win. Winners push that aside and they just go and do it. And instead of that mindset of like, oh, this is going to be difficult, I tried to flip the switch and be like, all right guys, all right crew, let's show them how it's done. And so, you know, talking about what you do, you know, when you're stuck, what you do when you're in an airport, you decide that this is what winners do. Winners win. Winners keep going. Winners flip a switch. Michael Strahan, the New York Giant um, you know, defensive lineman, was one of the speakers at the conference I was at. And as much as he was a New York Giant and as much as, you know, as much as he said his favorite quarterback to sack was Donovan McNabb, the Philadelphia Eagle, I was like, ooh. As much as all that, you know, that, that was, we'll let bygones be good bygones. But, you know, he did say he was talking about having an, an optimistic attitude about whatever it is that's in your way. Because he says, well, why not? Why, why wouldn't you have an optimistic attitude? What's stopping you? How is it going to make it any better to have a pessimistic attitude? And in that moment, I caught myself and saying like, oh, right. Like, why? What is that going to help? And it changed my entire day. It changed the total trajectory of my day by switching that attitude internally. And guess what? The day went great. The day went great. 
instead of dwelling in those things where I wanted to be like, oh, it's too fast, things are too cramped, um, too much, too much responsibility, too much pressure. I actually just leaned in and I felt great and it went well. It was hard. It was hard for sure, but it went well. Same situation right now. I'm in the airport. I'm stuck. We have content to put out tomorrow. Just recorded a podcast for the Automotive Troublemaker. Just finished writing our hundredth email. Have a pod. This is not going to. I always say this is not going to be the week that I don't release a Clarity Compressed podcast episode. I've been doing it for the last 212 weeks. This is not going to be the week I stop. But it's tempting still. Oh, I want to make excuses for myself. Oh, I want to say, well, you know, you've done enough this week. I want to say, it's okay, it's okay. Everybody will understand if anyone's even listening. But actually, this is why I'm able to move forward. This is why my family's moving forward. This is why my team is moving forward. Because of this mentality that it's got to get done. And that it can be done. And it actually can be done with a really good attitude. We can't control the cir- I cannot control the circumstances all the time. I can't control the fact that my airplane is delayed right now. I can't control the fact of, of a thousand things in my life. But I can control what I do with the next moment I have. I can control that. And I'm controlling it right now. Got my boys cleaning the floor behind me. Got announcements on the speaker. I'm tired. I'm hungry. Well, I'm not hungry. I just ate too much, actually. <laughs> but I'm tired. Looking forward to get home to my family. It's going to be a snowy drive home. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Guess what? It'll be a story. And tomorrow morning, I will wake up and I will hug my family and we'll have a podcast recorded. So I, I do, you know, this is going to be a short episode, uh, just, you know, seven or eight minutes. I do want to take a minute at the end here and thank so many of you for the love you've sent my way over the last uh, month specifically. Um, emails, text messages, social media messages. Look, it's really great to know that there are other people out there where this message resonates with. And and by no means do I feel like I'm leading the way. Actually, what I feel like is that sharing my internal thoughts, all it's helping me do is find the other people that think the same way so we can motivate you know, one another. And you know, two of the most powerful words in the English language are me too, right? Not like hashtag me too, but yeah, me, me too. Like I feel that way. I've had that experience. You know, so I want to thank you for that. It's wind in my sails. It's encouragement um, for whatever this is worth. I'm grateful for you. I'm grateful for the opportunity to push through struggles. I'm going to keep pursuing that clarity and perspective. I hope you keep pursuing it with me. And we'll see you right here next week. We came to fight.